All right, welcome back to episode two. Where we're gonna learn in lesson two, we are going to learn about these tactics and speed control. All right, here we go. Now, we know about these game modes, which I like to call tactical, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I come up with my own names. So don't judge me. <laughs> so, first of all, we have a normal game. Oh, I mean, this normal game. This is how you challenge yourself. If you use like human advantage, you have gold advantage. This is all you got. And if you move it this side, that's computer advantage. Crusader game is where you get gold advantage, but after that is troops advantage. If you play it, you know it, right? So for beginners, you have like, if it's this side, you have more troops. This one will double your troops. This is just 50%. So if you go this way, you're going to end up 50% less troops. And then, I mean 25%, man. This is 25% less troops. Then by this rate, you'll have like 50% less than all the AI. The AI will get double troops. So you better watch out while playing this, <laughs> especially close and caught in close maps like, uh, let's see here. This is a small map. You're really close. <laughs> so if he has more troops, he can attack you directly and you'll die unless you can fend him off with just 2000 gold and just a few troops. Next, we have death match 10,000 gold. That's enough for an AI to build up defenses and troops. Category 1 and Category 2, they'll max out. If you get like 20,000, the Category 3 will get all their defenses up. Which makes them very hard to tackle at early game. Especially at 90 speed. So now, 40,000, they'll be ready for an attack. So if you can handle 3,000 gold on your side, then you're a legend. <laughs> if it's 1v1, it's still easy. Once it starts going... Two, three, more. That's when it goes south. So if you go this side, it's just like no challenge at all. So, moving on to speed control. Now, we're going to go to topic number two in this episode. So, we of all, like I said in the last episode, you got to learn your opponents. So now, here's your chance. So we're just going to pick category 1. Alright. Here we go. Now, I'm going to give them all the gold they want. We're just going to scout out, okay? Make things interesting. Don't worry, I'm not going to play. I'm just going to show you how to study your opponents. 40,000 gold. All right, we're starting in-game options. We're going full 90 speed. This is what you're going to see. All right, resume. I'm not going to do anything much. I'm just going to look at some AI, how they perform. So 90 speed, you check how they build. You know how Sultan builds, right? Circly castle. He's easy, he's easy to beat. We have snake. With an S castle. And with some moat. You gotta learn how these category 1 enemies do. For this one, he's easy to beat. <laughs> he's got no wall from behind. You wanna attack him? Attack him from behind. But you gotta take out those archers first. Pig. His defenses are mainly strong because of those crossbows. Once those crossbows are out, he's down. Rat. I don't even need to explain. I mean, just look at it. He has a stair here. I mean, look at it. <laughs> he has stairs that goes up. Okay, it's not going anywhere right now, but it will join up. Once it joins up, you can go directly from here, from here, and there. You can kill the king directly. So overall, you've seen category one, how they perform. Right? You've seen... Look at King Philip. He's good at attack. Average, actually. He has knights. To actually do the bidding for him. Then we have Snake. Not much with troops. Sultan. 
Sultan comes into the, like late game play with attacks. But it's not much. That's all we got for category one. Now we go to category two. Choose your adversary. All right, category two. Yes. Uh, please be all right, let's just set it up. Table. The sides are drawn. Okay, let's start the game. Okay, 90 speed. Now we're gonna see. The abbot, right, right from the start, he's gonna start spamming monks as fast as he can. Then the Caleb. Those towers are gonna be up as fast as they can. Then we have the Sheriff of Nottingham. Well, his economy, I don't know. He's a little bit weird <laughs> in castle building. So his defenses, not so much. The Wazir, however, has two sides. Sometimes he builds like a strong defense, and most of the time he builds like a stupidly very weak defense. I mean, right now it looks like he's building that mag that uh, what, the five star castle. Where he no 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 no. This is the six tower castle, right? The only problem is that he doesn't put any siege equipment on top of these towers. That's the problem. That's why he's category two. Then we have the marshal, best knight attacker in the game. Overall defenses are average. So what you gotta do is you have to actually scout out what they do in early game at 90 speed. What you're gonna expect at 90 speed. So we've seen what category 2 can do. Okay, let's just see how much gold they got. Still 30,000 gold, I told you. 10,000 gold is enough to build their defenses up. It's only been, it's only been a minute, they're already on the charge, see? No. Only was here. See, I told you. He's really fast at raiding. Early game raids. That's what he's gonna do, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> so that's category two. Now we go to category three. Badass one. Welcome. Well done. Here we go. Meetings. At last. The round table. Let's take the round table. The sides are drawn. Alright, we good. 90 speed start, let's go! Okay, we're just gonna put some stupid crown right here. Now, you'll see what they can do with 40,000 gold and building defenses. Solid, let's see. See how fast they built the walls, everything. I think he's going for that four tower, that four tower, I think. Then we have Wolf. With a badass castle. See how fast they can build walls. If you can build walls this fast, you can actually play good in multiplayer. So now we have Frederick. Just one more tower here. Emir. Yep, that's the sixth tower. Actually, that's the seventh tower. Now it's missing some space here. Now after Emir, we have the Lionheart. Average defenses, just wait for a while. We'll see all his attacks come out. Defenses, he's got no archers up, but he's only got a few archers here. So, yeah, he's starting for an attack run. Yep. Now, category three. That's what it looks like, defenses. Badass. Then, under there's no way you're gonna get through this that easily. You already see how massive it looks, right? Thick walls, a lot of towers, a lot of siege weapons. Yep. So Getting attacked. Even him, he's got a lot of towers, but not a lot, not a lot of archers. Here we go. Early rage, early attacks. This is how he does tactical decisions. 
Category 3, they can attack more faster. They're faster at building. So, you've seen how Category 3 works. Especially this. This is the best defense I've seen so far. Out of all of them. So you've seen how it is, right? Well, it's over, I'm dead. <laughs> they got me this far. Alright, that's Category 3. I'm dead. <laughs> Retire. Okay, now we're back. Onwards to the specialist Nizar the Silent himself. Sneaky sneaky. Alright. Now we're just gonna have to like check him out. As he digs everything up. He's already spending like a lot of whatever. We're just gonna observe him for a while. One more thing, at this very moment, he's already creating assassins. They're already here, 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 somewhere, I don't know. Okay. Archers up. His defenses are quite moderate, but he doesn't have what you call Wait, what am I saying? He doesn't have like siege equipment on top. What he has are fire blisters on the ground. See? Now he's digging up moat. He's creating more soon. As soon as he finishes. He's quite slow at this. So in terms of economy, he's a little bit slow. Population wise, average. So I think I'll just cut in the edits while I wait. Okay, that's enough waiting. So, here we see the island fortress. So this is gonna be tricky to tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, at the same time, it's all destroyed a few of my buildings. <laughs> my granary, everything. So I was just busy for a while. And now, we're dead! <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta be careful with this guy <laughs> if you're playing 90. It is as I said, is it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so um. that's two. That's like topic two. So now we move to topic three. You gotta check maps, alright? Especially playing multiplayer if it's someone else's map. You gotta check balancing, alright? Here we have balance. Here we have unbalance. You've seen how the balancing works, right? Here everybody gets equal places, equal resources, everything. Next we have craggy cliffs. Unbalanced, why? Here you don't have any mineral resources, but you do have a little bit of grass and trees, right? Here they have the advantage. You see now, right? Here also, map position also. You gotta check map position especially. Say you're like here, you have no worries, right? This is an advantage in the map. The only thing you're gonna have to fortify defense is in the front. The back, you're safe, you got resources also. Here also, the same story, and so is here. But if you're in the middle, like here or here, you're getting attacked from all sides. So you gotta be careful. Well, the best example is this one. Suppose if you're like playing pro play later in the Crusader Trials, you will face <laughs> 7 versus 1. Suppose if you have opponents Good like Category 3. Well done. Right. Specialists, more wolves, right? Suppose you have like all of them versus you. The sides 90 the speed. If you're here, you can fortify defenses in the front and the sides. If you're here, you can fortify just the front and this side. If you're here, you're the red one, mind you. You can fortify on the back bit. And here. If you're here, you just check two sides. If you're here, you check only the front and the side. If you're here, you're safe. You check only this side. This one you can wall off. But if your map control is right in the middle here or here, you're gonna get slammed. <laughs> you're gonna get attacked from all sides. Especially in 40,000 if you can manage. This is death match indeed. So, <laughs> just remember, 
You sure gonna challenge yourself being in the middle. You better be fast at 90 speed. Even me, I find it a little bit hard. I'm not saying that I... I can't. I can't. I did once. Alright? <laughs> I can. But it's very hard. You have to start attacking two or three of your opponents at the start right off. If you're gonna start. The only way you're gonna fend up against uh, 1v7 is in like a normal game. Uh, this normal game. Where everyone doesn't have defenses or troops where you have to boom economy first. Crusader games. This is when it gets tricky. If your opponent has seems to like have troops scattered all over, you can go in and plunge in for the win and kill him as early as you can. But in death match, that's impossible. Because with the amount of gold and troops that they have, it's gonna be quite a stretch if you're gonna have to go against them. So I think I've covered the basics in like two episodes. So next time we're gonna start tutorial gameplay and how you're gonna control speed, all right? So that's all for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode.